Hello everyone, Drake and Stark here. I'm here to show you my new map, Zone Control. I've been working on it since the early beta when the editor was released. It took about a six month break though. And here I'm going to show off my new voting system. For now you can just ignore the loading screen. I've got most of the information in a help menu, which I've renamed. Go ahead and select some options here. Or presets here or just predefined choices in the voting system for you. In case there's one similar to whatever you feel like playing. If any of these options are equal, they'll end up being randomized. Unless it's a default option, which is regular King of the Hill. First off. I've selected to use rock, paper, scissor units. And this is the order right here. Marines will take care of fire bats. Fire bats take care of tanks. Chose this order because marauders would typically take care of tanks in the same order in regular melee games. Uh, for your rock, paper, scissor units, there's an upgrade for each type of unit. And for any three upgrades, you'll gain one armor upgrade for all your units. This will be different for if you're playing uh, Marines only, which you'll upgrade armor and weapons individually. This better be good. First thing I should show off is the Mass Attack Controller, which has the ability to teleport anywhere on the map. And something else I can show off is the switching production for each of your individual Ready units. You don't just spawn them all at once. Get something else started for later. Uh, one of the nice things I've added in the map is the rally point feature, which you can set to have multiple units and cancel them in a button click. That way you don't have to indi individually cancel each one and set your other bunker as a rally point on accident. Uh, one of the main features for the rally points is so you can set mass attack to autocast, which will order all your units Add automatically complete. to attack here. Mass attack will allow you to ready. still order units around, sure. so it's not going to override any of your orders. And these are all heading back since they stopped. It'll detect idle units and order them for you as well. As you can see, I just captured the hill, which you can select in Fog of War if you really need to. You can see whoever at any time owns the hill. You can see Mass Attack will also ignore any units set to patrol or hold position. Need something blown up. Just to demonstrate. Alright, and as you can see, units told to hold position or patrol are still doing so, even after I clicked mass attack. If you don't want to attack with your entire group, you can select a small bit of units. You. Just click mass attack button. Doesn't matter what they're doing, it'll, it'll work no matter what. I haven't voted for a supply limit, so Vespine is missing among the list of resources. Vespine would be your current unit limit, since I wasn't able to get supplies to show up properly. I could edit it in with a custom resource or a dialogue if I wanted to. I just felt it was easier to keep the tooltips as is. See the Raven abilities. One I should show off is the Medigel Nebulizer, which is what I installed at the beginning. Uh, these two advanced abilities you'd have to install. They use up uh, full energy in order to install. Uh, let's see, the first main feature is the auto turret, which is 
hallmark to the Raven, I would say. Order accepted. It's really only good as defense. Uh, use it for when you need to retreat as it takes uh, attack priority over your units. As does the Metagel Re Nebulizer. You gonna give me orders? Metagel Nebulizer essentially just heals your units. No matter what they're doing. See if I can get it on top of these guys before they die. It is very powerful in protecting your units. It can really change a battle for the better or worse. See, if I weren't playing against a computer player, I'd be advising it to attack the Metagel Nebulizer. It's very weak on its own, so it's good to hide it behind your units, but that doesn't leave much room for you to advance. So it's also fairly decent for defense instead of offense. Uh, something else you can have on the Raven is Mass Recall. It just teleports up to 50 okay. units to wherever the Raven is. You can use it twice without or with full uh, energy without an issue. See. Another feature of the bunker, I'm going to go ahead and clear all these men so you can see it more clearly, is the boost production feature. It costs a few units. A uh, few potential units each time you use it. There's also a cooldown period. It exponentially produces more units. Up to 15, I believe. It's a feature that's mainly used for, again, defense or offense if you're about to send a large wave to an enemy. If you're under attack and you're going to lose a bunker, I'd highly advise to use boost production on it. Even if it's going to not win out anyway with the extra 15 units. The goal of the game, if you didn't know already, is to eliminate all enemy bunkers. You could have up to 8 players on this map. Each team would end up splitting all of their resources and units. If you currently have an AI opponent allied with you, uh, you'd be able to research items for them separately from your own. If you want a much closer match, if you're going to be facing other two-player teams, and it's as balanced as I think I can make it, as you could argue a two-player team would be able to multitask much faster than a single player. Give However, a single player shot. would share one single pool of minerals versus two players would have their minerals split and they'd have to w communicate with each other if they want to share their minerals. And I believe that's about all I have to say. Uh, good luck out there. Hope to see you online.